Yes. And what you want, nice and long. Because sometimes... Just like your dildos. <laughs> so it was around about, I want to say 1992, maybe 93, when my brother and I decided to stop getting annual diarrhea at the exhibition and said opted for a Game Boy. Okay, so for those who don't know, the exhibition, or the ECA, as it is referred to in Brisbane, Echa. is our royal show. It's a state fair for the foreigners. Mm. It's basically a place that has a reason in that it's where farmers come to show off their like big fat pigs that they've bred and shit. And, you know, vegetable growers come and create these insane, like fucking, you know, pagan monuments to fertility up everywhere. And because they do nothing but hang out with like livestock, they develop immunities to all sorts of weird diseases that we city folk don't have. So they come here and they get us very, very sick. And so every year, either my brother or I would get just catastrophic, just sudden, violent, out of nowhere diarrhea. It was horrible. And then so one year my dad was like, well, we could go there and, you know, fucking help a Connie's meth habit, or we could get a Game Boy. And since I've got the Game Boy in like, you know, 30, 40 odd years ago, I have dreamed of one that is magic and does everything. And now that it's the future, we have one that is magic and does everything. So I bought, a little while ago, actually, I got this uh, last year, the Pie Boy DMG. So uh, as you can see, it's got a little bit of like some epoxy on there. It's a bit dinged up, but you know, so am I. Um, I did that, so that's on me. <laughs> um, we'll get to how that happened later, because it's relevant. But um, so basically, this has got a Pi 4 in it which is really good because it gives you a lot more options in terms of what you can play. It'll do basically everything up to sort of the mid-tier PSP games. Um, and if you want anything beyond that, you're going to have to get up into the handheld PC territory, which uh, Valve has just, you know, stumbled into. They fucking took a swinging blow into. Uh, credit to them. Um, they're very competitively priced. Yeah. Like, I bought the GPD Win 2, which was probably the best of the range when it came out for about $900. All these subsequent models that have been released are bare minimum, like 1200. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you can get a, uh, you know, and even the low end ones, cause you can change the storage inside. Even the low end ones, if you get a decent like uh, micro SD card, you know, for emulation, that's great. That's all you need. Um, I've also got uh, here my PAL Kitty uh, RGB 10, which you may notice is attached to my keys because it's my key ring. Um, it's what you'd call the best of the low tier. So this will emulate everything up to some low end Dreamcast, does 2D quite well. Basically, you've got a few tiers. The very low end that'll do like just eight bit stuff. You can buy these for nothing on like, you know, AliExpress and stuff. You get what you pay for, they're mostly shit. Uh, if you want to get something quasi decent, I'd recommend getting like something like Pow Kitty or by Anbenik. Um, anything with the uh, rock chip in it, the RK336, because uh, that'll basically give you a little more function. Um, anything lower end than that will basically do up to about SNES, some 2D PlayStation, but it will struggle on any SNES games that uh, required the extra chip. So yeah. the testing games are always uh, Star Fox and uh, Yoshi's Island. Um, for arcade games, the ones that will always be a challenge, and the ones that the um, Power Kitty manages, uh, any of the CPS3 games, so Third Strike, things like that, uh, and... Red Earth. Yeah, and uh, weirdly Killer Instinct. Oh, really? none of, yeah, none of them run Killer Instinct well at all. Killer Instinct's a struggle. Uh, it's because it operates off of one of those fucking compressed hard disks, and so it's, just a, it's, a, it's a bugger to emulate. Um, then you get up into the Pi territory, which is, you know, what we got there. Um, this is quite good, and because it's Pi, it's Linux, you know, it's, it's quite open, and lots of people work for it and do things with it. Um, and then beyond that, you get uh, some of the Android territory. Uh, a lot of good phones these days, like a top-of-the-line phone will do a lot, uh, up to and including PSP, very comfortably. Uh, and then after that, it's Windows. Um, so I play with this a fair bit, because it's really fucking cool. And... I play with it somewhat vigorously, and on account of I have various devices designed to make me squeeze harder, I have kind of been a little vigorous with the D-pad. And so what you'll notice here is I've got, you know, a nice, nice little click there, a nice little click there. You can see there's a bit of, you know, there's travel to it, it's what you want. Up the top, meh. Ooh. Up the left, meh. 
Now these will still detect, but yeah, yeah, yeah there's nothing, there's nothing to feel. Yeah, yeah. that's. There's yeah. A, yeah, there's a limit in this phone. So I've I've probably knocked the pad off a little bit. Hopefully I haven't torn the pad because then I have to get a fucking whole new one. But we're gonna find that out today as I take it apart and uh, just fidget with it a little bit. Now, uh, so the first thing you wanna do, just on the side here is where your micro SD card, that'll have your operating system and games on. Uh, this is just a 128 gig sand disc that I think I got from Umart. Yeah, you don't want to lose that, and you don't want to leave it in there. Yeah, yeah, well, it's not the end of the world if you leave it in there, but it's best to have stray things off, because yeah. this does have some odds and ends. Now, if you're going to be doing something like this, you're really going to want to go get, like, proper items for it. So, I've got myself a little um, screwdriver set, because um, I tend to do little things like this a fair bit. And what you want, nice and long, because sometimes... Just like your dildos. <laughs> Sometimes, man, like, because a lot of places will sell these fucking little things, but they come with those little nubbiny screw heads because they're not designed to get in anywhere deep. None of those nubbinies, like, you'll see the little, you know, adapter corner. That's not gonna, that's not gonna get in there. So any of the standard nubbin sized ones that you're gonna get, you're, you're not gonna actually reach the fucking screw. So you can get those cheap jewelers ones, but I just find them also fucking dodgy and they only sell them at shitty fucking places. So to give you an example, I've also got like my uh, phone repair kit here, which is just useful for, you know, various odds and ends. Here we have a uh, good size, that Question, looks good. have you ever repaired a phone? Yes. Fair enough. What phone did you repair? Uh, I fixed Girlfriend's S6 by replacing the camera. Um, I bought a camera part online and re-threaded that. Uh, and some screen replacements on some earlier models before, nice. they made, before they made replacing screens borderline impossible. Right. Um, oh, they... We still did them. Oh, like, they were very fun. Yeah, borderline impossible for like, I'm not buying yeah. a steamer. Like, I'm not buying any of that shit. Like, borderline impossible for like a prying tool and a screwdriver. Lifting glass is not fun, let me tell you now. Oh, uh, yeah, and then I Samsung did. had the bright fucking idea of curving the fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. A guy dropped one and he came in and he's like, oh, how much to get this repaired? This was like a week after they came out. Oof. And it was curved. And I'm like, man. It's gonna be like eight hundred dollars for the screen alone. Yeah. And he's like, "What?" And I'm like, "It's curved glass, dude." He's like, "Can't you just replace the glass?" And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "Said if 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 you want, I will try to replace glass. No guarantee, and you can pay me like five grand, because I can't lift curved glass." <laughs> we had a guy who could do it. He mm. he managed to do it, but it. Good lord, it took a long time and it's, delicate. It's, it's done deliberately. It's done to make it not Way worth fucking while. Well. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, so, oh yeah, the battery as well. So, I've got the little battery case in the back here. Um, I have drilled some speed holes in it, by which I mean air holes, because one thing, the original like model does not have what I'd call terrific uh, ventilation. And the Pi does tend to get a little warm. So, we're not using the old four triple A's no more. It's a nice little uh, rechargeable. He's got a little plug in there. That goes over yonder. Um, I have been meaning actually, I put some speed holes just uh, under the, where the fan is, because it, it does have its own cooling system. It does have vents. It's just, you know, particularly the battery does get warm and my hands are big and they get warm. So just having a sealed plastic over the battery was just a, a real fucking waste. Um, I'm probably gonna cut that out and put uh, some meshing across there just to give it even more airflow, because I have ordered the overclocking kit, which does include a better cooler and a better fan and a, like a, a far more, a better heat sink, basically. Um, so you are what I would call an enthusiast. Yes, I am. I'm probably easing off because the good thing about emulation is it's mostly done. Uh, every time, you know, a... You know, with, with, with some odd exceptions of people still releasing, you know, Dreamcast and Mega Drive games occasionally, you know, a system's done, it's finished. You know, this emulates everything up to a certain point. If I want portable PSP or GameCube, I've got the Win 2 for that. Um, you know, but it's getting to the point now where, you know, things like those, uh, you know, the PCs are good and great emulation tools, but they are aiming for like PC gameplay, which I do sort of find a little pointless. Right. Um, some of them will manage it. Like I, I actually, I, I have a fair bit of confidence in the Steam thing, but uh, there are certain realities when it comes to anything like this in that, you know, heat, power, battery life are just, you know, 
short of like major breakthroughs, yeah, not something you can get around. So if it's powerful, it burns battery and generates heat. That's just a, you know that's just a reality. So you're gonna have to cut something fucking somewhere. Future's in the cloud, baby. Yeah, I mean like look, that's you know I've tried using things like Steam Link and GameStream uh, for some kinds of games. I think it's all right. I honestly had probably my best luck with Moonlight. I used Moonlight Interstate. How'd that work? It worked great. Yeah. It worked fucking fantastic. I tried Steam Link and it was shite, so maybe I could just go back to Steam fucking Link Moonlight. is shit. All right. Um, you, it's very hit and miss. Yeah. Like, there was Steam Link I had in the TV in the office. It actually has inbuilt Steam Been Link building, app. Yeah. So I tried it and it worked. There was notable latency, but it, it was okay. Um, so, yeah, so we got the, uh, the, the back case, and as you can see, that's where I probably, like, you know, cut out another bit. Uh, there's the little uh, rear buttons, the L and R. Um, you can, you know, people have got like 3D printed versions and stuff that have a little bit more lip. The ones they come with are very, very flush, and it's just kind of weird. So they also ship with these ones that have a little bit of a, a more tactile nubbin. And uh, so, yeah. So basically, soon they'll be shipping me a new version of this bit on the top, the cooler. So that'll be like a new fan um, and a, you know, overall better heatsink. Yeah, so that's the guts of it. And so we have to get through all this to get to uh, the D-pad, sadly. So now when you, when you take the lid off, things you got to watch out for. The power switch, because that'll run away. Um, it's got legs. In yeah, Australia, everything got, has legs. Everything has legs. If you, if you migrate off. here, you will be given legs when you, when you enter the country. <laughs> so... Where is it? There's one that I kind of... I think it's one of these ones. Basically one of these screws, or it might be this, yeah, it's over here, it's this one. So I, being a big twisty grabby human being, kind of put the screw in this one way too tight mm. and sort of fractured it off a little bit and that weakened this outer plastic because I pulled a chunk of it out and didn't know <laughs> and bumped it and then that, you know, sort of dinged it. So I put some just, I just put fucking epoxy on it now and it's fine, um, you know. I'm I not, call it epoxy. Yeah, epoxy, epoxy. Uh, so you just got to unplug these little uh, power things. It'll uh, you know go to the fan and whatnot. Um, doodly doo. So that's those two out. And then you got four little screws around the top here. So you got one. Like I tend to try and keep them uh, the screws separate. Though there is, I think there is one weirdly long one somewhere, and I. Can't remember why, but we'll figure that out as we go. You know, for like a giant meatwad of a human being who enjoys grappling and hitting things and striking things yeah. with your hands, you actually have really nice hands. Um, yeah, it's kind of fucking weird, all things considered. Yeah. I mean, the knuckles are kind of developed from like hitting. I think yeah, the, but still, the insides of them are a little like, bit like. Yeah, on the inside is a bit more, but on the outside, like they they don't look like you been hidden shit. It's quite interesting. Maybe it's because I was doing it from when I was fairly young. Maybe. So you just got this little uh, uh, thread thing here. I think that's for the... I can't remember what that's for. It's for something. Um, <laughs> it doesn't yeah. matter. It so powers the magic. Yeah, then there's this ribbon cable here. And now... I love ribbon cables. Yeah. What? <laughs> no. the, the, there's one coming up that's a bit of a bugger. Um, so this one's got one of these little... You see this little grey thing? And what that that's the lock. So don't just be tugging at this like a mad thing. Um, what you want to do, you know, sometimes if you're, if you're worried about using metal, I mean, don't worry too much here, but you can get a bit of plastic and just doop, and then doop. Or if you've got long spider yeah. fingers like me, you can just yeah, like you got go... Yeah, fucking Aaron's weird, goddamn huntsman-like fucking... And then that comes out. Uh, there we go. Okay, now, I think I got all the screws. And now, one thing, though, is even when you've got the screws out, it is, as you may see, plugged into the like, you know, IPO fucking prongs yeah. of the uh, of the Pi Four itself. So that you've kind of got to like just wiggle it out a little is bit. Is Pi Four the latest Pi, or is there more Pies? Um, Pi, yeah, Four is basically the latest. There's a compute module uh, that can basically upgrade a Nano to a Pi Four. So there's no Pi Five. Not yet, no. All right. Um, there are some other. There are other forms of like, you know, tiny computer, uh, but. The thing about this is a lot of the, 
you know, the firmware, a lot of the things that sort of basically get it to go from like just this inert mass to a thing that acknowledges all this other shit uh, has to be kind of specific. So there is a form a fairly specific firmware that you need from the uh, Pyboy website. Um, uh, after you've downloaded that and installed it though, you can, you know, apparently there are a few forms of uh, OS you can put on there. I just use uh, like RetroPie, I think. It works fine. I mean, particularly for something like this, like the RetroPie has got a, 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 a very mainline updated forms of like uh, RetroArch and things like that. So you don't have to worry too much. With something like say the uh, little uh, Power Kitty here, you can fiddle about like for instance, Arc OS is meant to be somewhat better in for performance for some things. You, you should not use the word fiddle in the same sentence as Kitty. I know, like, Pow Kitty is That's just... a bad name. Like, I, I will say, Pow Kitty will put their name on all sorts of shit. Uh, like, they'll have, like, crappy little, you know, mini home arcade cabinets and stuff. Like, those little tiny ones that... Oh, don't get, yeah. Yeah, don't get those because the stick on them is just a fucking thumbstick. <laughs> that, and that, you don't want to try and play arcade games with that. It's just the worst fucking thing. Why would um, you want to be playing on this little tiny thing anyway? Just, everyone fucking, it's just, the, it's a thumbstick. So it's, it's loose. It's analog. It's an it's, analog it's stick. It's just a gimmick. Just fucking terrible. Um, so yeah, but that said, the RGB 10 and the uh, RGB 20 are solid devices. Um, I can't speak to any of their other stuff and most of the other stuff looks like crap. Um, all right, so then we've got to get rid of the uh, HDMI out, which lots of these things have for some reason. Like, even the shitty little ones, you know? It's like, just because they, then they can advertise it as uh, another feature. I don't know what fucking weird cyberpunk Kowloon walled city poverty level that you, you have where this is the only thing you can get. Or like, you know, even like some of these ones have like AV out, some of the shitty little ones. Dude. I, I'm, look, I'm going to tell you now, Who's right back for? in the day, I bought one of the earliest fucking handhelds with... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that and thing that could that thing had like, an AV yeah. out. That thing had an AV out. It was just... It was literally because in China and Hong Kong, they have so many of these boards and mm -hmm. things. So they just throw so much there because then they can just sell it as more features. And it just becomes, well, how many of shit can we bolt on? Because it's just we've got them in excess. Um, yeah, that must be it, because there's... A, as technology becomes <laughs> standardized, they just get access. Like, you know, the with the Pi Boy, it's like, all right, like, you can, you know, there are ways you can plug another controller in, and it, it does have, you know, the power does to... Does it have Bluetooth? Um, yes. Uh, yeah, so this, the thing about, like, the, so, you know, I, I got, like, the good version, so there's different versions of models you can get. I got one with four gigabytes of RAM. Um, that's not monstrously vital, uh for, you know, the kind of things you're going to be emulating on this, but it does, it does help. Uh, I mean, Just with emulation... download some more RAM. <laughs> yeah, dummy. Um, with emulation, the thing you're generally thinking about is just raw dog CPU speed. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's all... Like, some... These days, some stuff is handled by the uh, GPU and enhancements. Like if you're trying to upscale or run like shaders and things that, yeah. that tends to be GPU, but so much of like pretending to be an old thing is based on quite linear function. Like getting it to try and sync up, you know, is a nightmare. Mm. Um, it's one of the reasons why fucking, uh, PS2 emulation is still just a bit of a fucking deal. Um, because it was, I mean, when, when they, when, when people got it working, it was fine, but the problem is just raw, you know, out of the fucking gate, like getting the, uh, it required a lot of stuff happening at once that really no one was prepared for. Mm. And like quite literally, like no one had, uh, libraries or anything for it. So it had to all get written by on the fly. It's kind of like rendering too, like with the H.264 rendering. Um, with consumer-based shit anyway, like Adobe and stuff. It was only recently that they put hardware rendering in. And CPU rendering is very intensive. Mm. And so, like, that shit will just burn. And when I got a new... When I got the current CPU we use for rendering, we went from a project, you know, that would take me two and a half to four hours to render 
being 40 minutes or less. And it's like, that's a diff that's a difference. Yeah. That is huge difference. So two things I always fucking forget when I'm putting it back together is these fucking things. What are those? They're just the little IO, you know, caps for oh, things like the yeah, HDMI yeah, yeah. And, the, and, the, and the top material. The <laughs> HDMI one's not that big a deal, uh, but this top one you, you kind of do need because stuff is liable to get in there. Um, this time I fucking won't forget them because I'm assuming you'll point it out, but f fuck me. Or right. I won't as a trick. <laughs> you won't because you're a dick. No, because I don't fucking, I don't want to see this put uh, back together again. All right, so we'll get this out first. So this is uh, the adapter for the um, SD card. So basically it uh, it gives the old SD card a reach around so it can uh, so it can reach where it's got to go. Alright, so so these little brackets don't you know precisely have so that's your you know kind of standard Pi four. Um, you know it's got the little adapter there. It's not really necessary. Um, the Pi is a lot of fun. It can they can be finicky. So you know how like when you try to like pull USB out and like Windows and shit, it'll be like, ooh. You didn't eject it. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, it might fuck up. And you're like, yeah, whatever. That shit's true for like, like I have had so many fiddly little problems. <laughs> um, this is another thing I always forget. That's the fucking LED doohickey. Yeah. Um, and that goes in here and it's clear. And I fucking, the amount of times like, you know, and it's, it's not a lot of times all told, it's probably like only three or four. But like that's hard to see. Yeah, that is really hard yeah, to see. Yeah, no, I can no. understand you. Reassembling that. this whole fucking thing and then looking down and seeing like just a single bit and going. Oh, see no. what I what I would do would have a notepad beside me with bullet points with each of those and I tick them as I put them in because otherwise would, I would fucking forget. That would be the sensible thing. So basically now we have you know functional access to you know. Or, or, hear me out, this is good. People at home, take a photo of each part mm. and then look at your thing and delete the photo as you put it back in. Aha, I'm a genius. Yeah, those are all very, very, very clever things that I never do because I'm a dip. Oh, there it is. I knew I was fucking, fucking forgetting something. So, don't one, worry, I wouldn't do it during. I'd do it after, forget after. The one I always forget. Me, 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 me. What is that one? It's just a screw, but it's like oh, where it's on it, the board. Yeah, where it lives, I never see it. Yeah, that's fair. Something about it. My brain just sees all that fucking shit there and goes, oh yeah, that's the not think about Why stuff. Why the fuck is it called DMG? What's DMG mean? I can't remember. Because like, they call the original Game Boy DMG as well. It's in its product number or something. Yeah, like. yeah. I don't know. I guess someone will fucking tell us in the comments. Uh, Damage, uh, mayhem, groping. That's Nintendo's internal policy? Alright, so... Here's one of the bugger ones. So, that one is for the... Uh, thumbstick. Now the thumbstick that they use I think is the same model as the Nintendo Switch and the one that shipped had some Not awful drift, but some noticeable drift mm. now you can get around that in a lot of these situations by Effectively expanding the neutral zone, but yeah. then you wind up with like, you know, you can run in every direction except bottom right. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, and that's just really fucking annoying so I went on eBay and bought just a re replacement pack for like, I think $2 that didn't cost shit and just swapped out and that works fine. So if that's happening, that's just generally my recommendation. You can try cleaning it out and all that shit, but it's just a fucking cunt. Um, so yeah, that, that can, that, that's getting it out's easy. Worming that little bugger back in where, you know, the angle that it's on and things like that. Not so easy. Um, okay. So that's the, uh, you know, the basic board, that's the speaker. One thing that it does do though, as you'll see the little hole there, is it uses like this little bit of fucking fluff as like the mounting point for the D-pad, so it's got roll. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of that design process, I just think it's invites trouble. Alright. Kinda wish I had a bit of canned air. I can blow on you. <laughs> Does that help? No, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, so actually, if we can get in, if we can get in here, so here's where I replaced the uh, the thumbstick. Um, it sort of didn't quite fit, so I just sort of jammed it in. It's fine. <laughs> um, as you can see down the bottom there, that's where I had to sort of reattach the uh, screw hole, um, the pole hole. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, th this is what I mean. Like, is, 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 is it flawless? No, does it still work fine, you know, 90% of the time? Yeah. So, you know, it's not a precious item. You yeah. Know, it, it has... It's a used item. Yeah, so... Right, I'm gonna... Play the exciting game of now seeing what state the little fucking pad is in. So, as you can see, it's got, like, these two little mounts that are meant to sort of hold it in spot. Um... Uh, I mean... Alright, so... Uh, yeah. Is it fucked? Is it okay? Yeah, it's tears. Uh oh. I mean, the thing is, okay, so if we get down there, so we got like, so, you know, it was sort of in this way, so this is the, you know, up and the left, and those are the ones that have a bit of tear on them. But, like, they're still, you know, if we put it down, like, we should be getting. You know, operation out of it. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I probably will have to order another one online just to, uh, you know. Just to make sure. But, um, I mean, I feel like maybe just sort of resetting it. Uh, nudging some of it out of the way. So, we'll, what we'll do is we'll remount that little bit there. And that's kind of like one of the, you know, little bummers about this one is getting it back to a point where you can sort of like test it can be a little bit fidgety, you know? So basically you kind of got to like just clench that and then, all right, well, should be fine. You working? Operation? Mm. I mean, it's still spongy, but it's definitely better than it was before. It's spongy. So, yeah. Spongy grommet. Because I mean, there was no, there was no travel when we started. So there's travel now. I mean, you can feel it's a little bit off, but yeah, I think that's kind of like because uh... there's no, there's no good way I've found to uh, repair in any way. Like glue ain't gonna do it. You know, nothing's gonna, no nothing will repair that. But. Uh... Yeah, so before, it, that just nudged in. It didn't, like, there was no resistance on it whatsoever. Um, now, you know, it goes in and it comes back out. So it's doing the thing it's supposed to do. Um, so we'll take that as a... Uh, fingers crossed, mostly good. Now, we got the fun part of the fiddly, 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 fiddly bits. Okay, so this thing, this thing can suck my balls. Neat, neat, neat. All right, there we go. All right, now trying to get this to go where it's got to go is like trying to fuck drunk. Like, and so at the same time, you got to make sure that that little speaker goes in its little like speaker dimension. So you're kind of having to do two somewhat frustrating floppy things at once. Um, I feel like some of these things could probably be maybe designed with some. A better sense of user end function, like, you know, like someone's gonna take this apart. It's like, cause this isn't, you can buy these as kits. Um, you know, just if you've got a Pi Boy, if you've got a, a Raspberry Pi 4 sitting around, uh, ding, there you go, you put it in, that's fine. Um, it doesn't require some kind of magic, you know, Pi 4 that comes with it exclusively. Um, I bought the pre-built kit because, you know, the Pies in Australia are like sort of already, you know, a hundred bucks, you know, for the Pi 4 by itself, so. Um, you know, there wasn't a lot of value to just getting the kit and then buying one. Ah, look. I'm going to bring out my own board called Muffin. There are other boards. Um, again, like, you can't, you, you can't really chop and change with this one. I think the Pi 3 can fit. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Uh, the Pi 3 can fit. Gabriel Morton, 2021. Hi. <laughs> Uh, fucking look, you fucking look, just get in there, you fucking... Get in there, deep like. Because <clears throat> it's got to get like... So it's got to go through that hole. It's got to go through, not that hole, that's that's easy. Okay. It's got to go through the slit. Oh, the slit, where's the slit? The fucking that. Oh, come on, focus. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? I know. That's cunty. Alright, so I'm trying to get my elbow out here so I can just hold it. All right, 
good work. <sighs> you get a gravy yeah. snack. Yeah. Now, I have to get this flaccid little noodle into a tiny, tiny, tiny flat little hole, which is a whole extra fucking thing. Um, you know, so you got to cook. It, you just, it involves bending it at angles that you're not comfortable with. It's a lot like real finicky transformers where it's like, oh, yeah, you just bend it. And it's like, yeah, I, that doesn't feel good. I feel like I'm going to break it. Transformers, yeah. robots in disguise. God damn it. Come here, you fucker. Um, yeah, now this, this is one of those situations where my beautiful hands don't come in handy. Huh. <laughs> All right, try and get that. All right. Because it requires, you know, if it just slipped in there, a lot of these just kind of they just go, and they just they just vanish inside, and it's great. This one is just like no. Yeah. I mean, I might. Okay, I'm gonna opt for the old. The old, the old sly finger. Okay. Because you can kind of just, you, you can kind of just do it by feel sometimes, by just scooch it back and then, you know, get it to... You just gotta find the G spot. Yeah, basically. I mean, just get her in there, Naya. Somewhere, I'll fucking know, you know. Fucking... Just insert and jab. But the thing is, is, is the, 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 the point that it... <laughs> <laughs> the point that it has to get into isn't flat on the on the fucking surface of the board, you know. Yeah. It's like a notch above, and it's like if, if if that notch wasn't there, if it was just a flat fucking you know point like everything else, it'd be easy. But it's it's not. Much like all life's problems, we can blame them on notch. Mm-hmm. Damn you, notch! Uh, and then it it kind of like when you get it like to go into the hole, <laughs> the ridge point that you need to sort of you know jam it in there vanishes down the slit. Aha, uh-huh, there we go. Alright, 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 okay. Hey, alright, so, as you can see, back in. Uh, that's, that's, that's one of the fiddlier parts. Uh, this time, though, I managed to fucking teabag the speaker hole. Just ah, to, let's you know, not forget the bits and pieces that we yeah, need. No, don't worry, I'm, 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 I'm mindful, because I know that you'll fucking tease me if I forget. Exactly. Uh, alright, so... Part of the challenge here sometimes though is like there are screw holes that you don't that you need to put in in certain orders that you don't need to get in. Um, all right, so when you're doing these kind of layered screw things, sometimes things on top use screw holes on the bottom. So usually, just to make sure I'm not fucking something up, I'll like remount the top bit. So this means I don't put screws in those ones, those little top two there, because screws go there to put the fucking little purple bit down. So that is just a good way of, you know, doing this shit if you're like me and tend to, like, fuck up. Because, god damn it, come here, you bastard. Um, boop. Oh, look at that. Fucking magnets and shit. Um, this is a really good screw set. I like this screw set. I've used lots of screw sets and this one's fucking great. Because A, it lets me grip. B, there's lots of twisty bits so I can grip and twist and do shit. Uh, and C, the end bits. Nice and long and thin, so I can actually reach the things that I'm fucking trying to get. You'd be surprised how many fuck up something along those lines. You don't, now again, because I've got like a weird fucking, you know, brain. These things, need, you know, need to be in firm, prevent jiggling around, but you don't need to go <laughs> with every fucking ounce of your strength. But you want to. I do. It's just, it's just automatic. Like, the, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to describe. And now another little feel just to make sure we're still okay. So I think, I think some of it might be, I'm getting a bit of a soft right now, but I mean, See, they I were always kind of really good in the Norwegian dwarf gripping contest. <laughs> I think some of it might be the weird little bit of fucking puff that it uses as the um, base. I don't know. I might, I might replace. I said, you know, again, I'm you know. Not base puff. <laughs> my base puff, which is the official word for it now, like the little bit of foam that the D-pad sits on. I'm just, I'm not a fan of that design. Hmm? 
Yeah, bass puff. Yeah, bass puff. Oh, you Anyways. mean bass puff? Yeah, I mean bass puff. Yeah. Bass puff. I'll look good in there, you bastard. Um, you know, because again, like I have a firm grip, so I, I don't know, I might be happy with like a bit of rubber. Uh, Having fun there, champ. I'm a dinosaur. Damn you, bass puff. I mean, I'm getting push. I'm just not getting the click I'd like, but I just, you know, I think it's just... I feel like you need a new one. Yeah, well, that's... There's tears. That's that's just a fact. I need I need new ones as if there's tears. That's the end of the end of that discussion. Um, uh, 80? So... Got that bit back in the speakers in its dangle hole. Um, nothing seems to go into that one. I mean, there is a hole, but it just seems to not be accepting any screws in the moment. Um, it's not the right time of the month. Mm. When the time is right, the hole will accept the screw. And it'll bloom in glorious birth. And then you'll have a mini pie boy. Mm, there we go. Um, yeah, like... For the time being, uh, Pie Boy are releasing some different form factors, which, you know, are nice, but, like, I wanted the thing that looked like the old Game Boy. Um, so they're, you know, a solid option. I got mine for about, uh, 280, 290, give or take. So this is kind of like the sort of price range that you're dealing with. For something that will get up to about PSP, um, if you overclock, uh, Pi 4, um, you can, you know, get some functional PSP, uh... But that's gonna, you know, you're gonna cut into battery life with that. That's kind of also why I'm getting the other cooler, because that thing will manage, but not great. Um, anything after that, you're probably going into, uh, I mean, really a decent phone with just a bit of controller clipped around the side. Um, what else? Apparently, there's a, another. Uh, Power Kitty clamshell Android based device kind of based off the GPD XD plus Which is okay uh, It's D-pad's kind of shit though, which is fucking weird like I mean if, if you're gonna be making something like this Get the basics right You know Like okay, there's only so much you can get out of the fucking some of these chips But like you should have a D-pad that works well. I mean it's kind of one of the problems with the uh, the Win 2 as well. Was isn't it's... it like, isn't it mostly the pattern or isn't that gone? I don't know. Oh, that's, I, I don't, I mean, that's a D-pad. I don't know what the fucking, I, I don't know, I can't say what the pattern's doing. Um, yeah, there's the, there's one thing I always What's forget. What's pattern doing? Um, you know, I, 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 I can't speak to that, but I can, you know, like there are some situations like the, this, the Power Kitty D-pad's not bad. I have noticed a strange problem with it picking up 360 motions. And I'm not sure why. Because all the directions work, all the diagonals work. Mm. Um, you know, I, I get everything else done okay. It's just, uh, it's just that. Why is that not threading? Doop. And what do we got? What are you doing? You can fucking, if you can thread enough to be a bugger to get out. Uh, one of the slightly longer ones. Uh, it looks like the same fucking width. Uh, maybe it's, maybe I've done that thing where I just screwed it in a bit too tight and now it's kind of like a tad fucky. I mean, in a, in, in a pinch, um, what you can do with some of these... Like if you, you know, bore out a fucking, you know, screw hole or something, which, look, can happen, and not always because you're like me. Um, uh, you can fill them with, uh, you know, super glue, even. It doesn't have to be epo uh, epoxy. Um, maybe a little, like, so sometimes just a little bit. Uh, let it harden, and then you've effectively got like a, you know, a slightly tighter screw hole. Um, So that one went in well. I don't know, maybe... 
Maybe it's got to be a little longer. Look, come here. Get. Yeah, it's the same fucking length. Eh, yeah, probably I'm just boring the fucking thing out a little bit. Oh. Um, yeah, because sometimes it's not always me. Sometimes, like, these things will just have cheap plastic. You know, it is a thing that happens. Sidetrack, what's the lowest Academy, like, award you can win? Not an Academy Award, but, like, what's the lowest, like, Golden Globe? Like, what's the oh. lowest award for, like, a movie? I mean, it'd have to be, like, I mean... Because lowest, there's got to be some, like, fucking, you know... Well, what's the lowest major one? What's yeah, the, like that's what's the Golden Globe? Is that the low? Is that lower than an Oscar? I mean, it'd have to be like either the People's Choice Awards, or the MTV Movie Awards. All right. Well, I want to win a People's Choice for my cinematography on this. All right. I don't know what the nomination process is like for that, but I just send them a video of my nuts. <laughs> oi! Oi! <laughs> what? Look at me nuts! <laughs> He's in, boys! We've been looking for a pair like that. <laughs> now you're gay! <laughs> My microphone, well, Gabe's microphone died because of the battery. Apparently wasn't as charged um, as I thought it was. So we're using one. It will capture me a little, but I'm not sure how well. So I'm kind of... Uh, a bit okay, so those, functionally, they're in as as they're going to get. Um, but that's not a big deal because fortunately the rest of this shit's going to sit on it. I'm going to Zack Snyder this to make it 4x3. <laughs> <laughs> or at least the Snyder Cut. <laughs> I mean, he can make an intro. I'll, give, I'll fucking give him that. He's really, he's a fucking dab hat in intros, but... Just don't let him near a story. Because, like, it... Don't let him near me. I will fucking hurt that man. It's impressive to make a zombie movie that fucking sucks. Yeah. Yeah. And they're gonna be more. Honestly, if he has less to do with them, that's... He probably won't. Probably, uh... Zack Snyder! Yeah. Is... Team up with Michael Bay and get it over with. You guys gonna be homos together or what? The explosions are in 4 by 3 um... Everything else isn't. <laughs> Alright, so you kind of gotta, like... Get this shit to line up a little bit. So, on this side, you see, that's where the, that's the LED. So the LED is going to line up with the fucking weird clear LED corridor to make it bafflingly bright. There has been an update to the little uh, onboard thing. Um, what, to dim it? Yeah, no, because it it, <laughs> it, 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 it it wasn't dimmable. And it's just, it's like, Bzzz! yeah, it, it really, it fucking almost sears the eyes. Uh, God, is that supposed to be under that? I think it's supposed to be under that. I don't know, what's... Ah, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> this, this shows you what can potentially happen. So, okay, there's that little that little bit there. So, that little bit, I thought, went over uh, the, 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 the weird purple base. It does not. It goes under it, and the purple base locks it in. So this means that this prong will be coming up too high for me to put the uh, other bit on. Take it to the base. <laughs> Take it to the limit. <sighs> so out come the screws. <laughs> Every... <laughs> I deserve that. Every last one of these, every time I do something like this, like unless I'm just taking the very tippity tippity top off, it's like, all right, something's gone fucking amiss. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what did you do? Did you fortunately, yeah, fortunately though, you can kind of just, you can kind of just pry it up. Then... No. Just jiggle it. Yeah, this is like a. Uh... Oh, actually, shit. While I'm while I'm here, while I've got you here, um, get this thing on as well. Because I always forget that this has to go on at kind of a weird, a weird point. Um, so, no, around that. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there we go. Look at, that, look at that little... Huzzah. Yeah, and then the uh, HDMI. The Hoodman. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. 
which way? All right, yeah. Okay, so that. Doodly -doo. Um, it's a lot easier when it's not screwed in. So if you fucking forget, you will have to unscrew these bits because otherwise it's just not gonna fucking, you know, really ain't gonna sit in there fucking happily. I am somewhat fucking miffed by that. So I don't, I don't remember being that rough on either of those fucking screw holes, you know? All right, well now look, now you're getting out of hand, Aaron. I don't like this, you know? You fucking- Don't staunch my creativity. You're using words like cinematography, and we're, we're, a, we're a Zack Snyder. We're a Zack Snyder household. We're a Zack Snyder yeah. household now. You'll eat your dinner in 4 by 3 cuts, damn it. Cinematography's for poofs. I get to eat the size of your steak. Just cut them off. It's 4 by 3 now. <laughs> I, I actually wanted to watch that movie. I know. I was you like, can't. I can't. Wait, you can't. <laughs> For me, I like, the thing is, I own a TV. I like to see all of this TV, you know? Yeah. The funny also... thing is, I spent money on the TV to see all of the TV. The, and the thing he says is dumb and makes no fucking earthly sense. Yeah. I just, I, I think he did it to see if he could get away with it. Well, I mean, you know. He did. Yeah. And now he, there's no limit. Okay, so part of getting the, uh, the little fan, you know, mount back on is uh, you got to get the GPIO, the little, the little weird, uh, you know, bed of nails that uh, generally you plug like Pi Four shit into, like Pi shit into. Um, you just gotta, you know, be make sure it's all lined up, and then be firm, and uh, yeah, oh, well, there we go. So that's that on top. We can, uh... I can put two extra screws in down here where they didn't need to be. Oh well. It is done. I don't know, I'm not undoing it. So if you ever like fuck up and run weirdly out of screws, you want to put them in diagonally to each other. That way they provide the most support. Again, the lid goes on, the lid presses everything down fairly firmly. And it's not like I juggle this fucking thing. That's a lie. <laughs> I've seen you juggling them with two knives. Root do 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 do. I wish I could juggle. I don't know why. <laughs> you it's don't. It's a skill that would be useful. It's not. It impresses nobody. Um, Alright, so, okay, so, like, you know, so this one is off the ground by, like, a millimeter, right? So you can't just nudge it down and let it slide in. This one, on the ground. So you can just go, you know, you can just basically let it go, and it fucking, it just scooches in, you know, on its own accord. And that's nice. Like, you're not having a fucking weird, like, you know, weirdly grapple with it to fucking get in there. Unless you want to be, like, a weird dick about it. Okay, there we go, yeah, yeah, see, it just, it just threads in, and then that's it, you just gotta, you gotta push this grey bit down, and, boop, and, there we go, that locks it in place, and so it doesn't flop everywhere, uh, the screen bit goes on top, this one goes in weirdly aggressively, yeah, there we go, um, uh, there we are. Now, for some reason I always get the power switch in backwards. I don't know why, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, oh, lots of things. <laughs> oh, lots of things. So you do kind of got to make sure that you don't fuck that up. All right. <sighs> bip, bip, bip. Now, when you're putting the top back on, there will be these kind of like fucking loose bits that are, you know, locked in place by the... Oh, God damn it. What was I just fucking saying? By the top. And so, yeah. Did you put it in backwards? No, I... Like, I touched it to like... So, you know, the power button... I think that's okay. The, <laughs> I might have it in backwards, in which case I'll have to like take, it, take the fucking lid off. I might just put two screws in so it's like, you know, held down a bit and then plug the battery in and give it a, a little bit of a, you know, is this working run, <laughs> so I'm not like fucking, you know, here forever more. The switch is backwards, quoth the raven. 
It does. It, yeah. Well, it. You'll think to yourself, well, what does that do? And it's like, well, because it's based around like just getting two points to connect. So it'll it'll like look. It'll feel like it should work, and it doesn't. And it just. So you really only need like a click or two, you don't need to go fucking, you know, you don't need to go a bit too hard. So, boop, get the battery, nudge a little battery connector in there. We can put the cover back on now because it doesn't need to not be in there. We can find the frighteningly tiny piece of storage that holds the thing's mighty brain. I want to put my brain on an SD card. Yeah, fucking, you know. Getting on the point where it might fit. All right, so there we. All right, so it looks like that's working. There's the unfathomably unfathomably bright light. Being that's a bit uh, being a bit weird. Right, Why is it doing that? I like that. <sighs> I like. Why is it doing that? That's a great sentence. Yeah. Uh, it's not meant to be doing that. This is, no, see, this is the one fucking downside to this thing in general, is, like, the, the fucking, the pie is weird sometimes. Like, sometimes it's just, it'll just do this. What? Uh, fuck it. I think it is the fucking switch. <laughs> but why would it turn the light on, then? Um, well, no, like, what it'll be doing is, like, making, like, weird contact with the switches, so... The pie boy will be going, you're just holding the on switch. Right. So power will be getting to the light, but like, it, you know, it'll be freaking it out. That great. <laughs> you now return to your regularly scheduled program. Alright, so... Oh, you were being, just being really cute. How dare you? Do it again! Come on, animal, perform for me. Do it Don't again for the you. internet. Oh, I'm not helping you get it. Then you wouldn't learn anything. I mean, he can't get it. Oh. <laughs> it's just a feather that pokes, you know, out different holes. All oh, right, yeah. It's just, a, it's just torment. That's yeah. all it is. That's all it's for. Okay. Because sometimes it's just like if you take the fucking, you know, SD card out and then put it back in, it has to do like six different weird fucking things yeah. before it'll like recognize that it's you and play along. Like it's it is it is one of the downsides of the the general pie system is fuck me it can be weirdly fiddly like and just you know I don't you know I'm used to Windows which can be fairly abusive with <laughs> your disc has problems would you like to fix now no yeah. <laughs> ignore oh my disc is unusable now yeah I wonder why I'll like. It, with this particularly, so with the Power Kitty, you can, like, I, I'd mount the SD card and use uh, a Linux file system viewer on Windows in order to add ROMs. That worked fine. Couldn't do it on this. Uh, every time I did, every time I dared load it into the fucking Windows file viewer, it would just fucking freak out and break the fucking thing. I mean, it's not starting the fan, which is a concern. And weird. Oh, wait, did I plug the fan in? I'm just I'm fucking certain I did. Ow. Uh. All right. Has Gabriel fucked up? Let's find out. Yeah. Cause I mean, it, it, like it, it has done shit like this before. What was the solution? Just take it apart? Um, yeah, just open it up, double check. Oh, okay, yeah, no. Did you plug the fan in? Yeah, that's actually, that was, that's... That, okay, you see that? You see that, like, power thing there? With the word pie written under it? Yep. That's the thing that puts the power to the pie. So, the light was going on, but 
none of the power was getting to the rest of the fucking thing. So that helps. Uh, and we'll play the exciting end of that's the end of that fucking mystery. All right, all right, okay. All right, okay, all right, all right. All right, all right. everybody settle down now, okay? Everybody settle down. I was about to call Fred and the gang, get the whole mystery machine together. I couldn't. Fred still owes me money. Um, He's a beatnik. Yeah. That's what I get for loaning money to people with neckerchiefs. I believe it's an ascot. Oh, uh, yeah. What's the difference? Are all neckerchiefs ascots or are all ascots neckerchiefs? Are they different things all together? Like, I have never worn anything around my neck other than a funny tie. Like a big sensible person you are. Well, I had to work at EB Games back when they made us wear suits. <laughs> they made us wear like ties and dress pants and fucking things. All right, so there we go. We hear the fan going on. The screen's on because power's getting to it now. It'll probably fuck around a little bit while it tries to figure out what I've done to its operating system. Father, yeah. father, there it goes. what have you done? Here's the little boot video I, I, I downloaded. Right, it, it does all these things. Which I think is quite cute. See, you should replace the boot with Ricardo. <laughs> I mean, that's nice, but Ricardo. Um, all right, so we'll just take a little, we'll take a little like a, a little test shift through the shit I've got. All right, so, all right, so we got uh, we got Mame. All right, oh, I don't want to play 1941. What have I played recently? Yeah, Champion Wrestler was what I fucking damn near broke it on. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll play some. Uh, we'll play a little bit of real bout special. Try to get in a spot where the lights are. Yeah, that's good. It's me, Aaron. It's all me. All right, what? Fuck you! Run that, you bitch. I've run that before. Uh, all right. You cheeky pie, you. What's it saying? Um, it should be loading. I don't know. Maybe I fucking. I was tinkering with the emulators a little... What the fuck? Keep It Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. <laughs> it expanded somehow. I'll have you know...